Kolgosh heard a speech by Emma Goldman, the anarchist, and he was electrified by it. He was electrified particularly by her words, which stated that all world leaders should be eliminated. But Leon Shogosh was too crazed even for anarchists. Fellow bomb throwers were warned to steer clear. Despite what had happened with Lincoln and Garfield, um, McKinley did not seem to fear for his uh, safety. He went up to Buffalo to take part in one of those world's fairs that were held at that time, the Pan American Exposition, and uh, with very little security. On September 6th, Shogosh, carrying a fancy revolver and a white handkerchief, waited at the exposition. McKinley arrived. He was to give a short speech, and then he was to have an audience with the public. Kogosh was in that audience, and he had the revolver wrapped in a white handkerchief. As Kogosh came to McKinley, he extended his hand with the white handkerchief wrapped around it, McKinley extended his to shake the hand, and instead, Kolgosh fired point blank at the president. Kolgosh hit the president in the abdomen and the chest. McKinley staggered back, and uh, his bodyguards uh, leaped on Shogots and began pummeling him, and uh, McKinley uttered words, uh, be easy on him, boys. Their failure to uh, locate the bullet uh, largely because uh, of uh, McKinley's obesity, uh, led to his death about a week later from uh, complications. When McKinley died, uh, Shogots, of course, was arraigned on first degree murder charges, and after a very swift trial, the trial was over in eight hours, uh, was sentenced to death. He was executed by electrocution. His last words were, I killed the president because he was the enemy of the people working people. Fearing a gravesite containing his earthly remains would be a rallying point for anarchists, federal authorities made a decision to completely destroy his body with sulfuric acid after the execution. <laughs>